owning an old cottage garden feels like a battlefield. Sometimes you win, but most of the time your garden does, and not in a good way. Hello, my name is Tanya. I am the owner of the 80 years old cottage garden in southern Finland. I only own this garden for one year, and if you are interested in the history of this garden, and the progress I made in maintenance, I will put link in description and you can see some something over there. Beginning middle of the summer is the worst time to leave your garden unkept and unsupervised. And unfortunately that's what I had to do just for a week, but let's see the results of it. It's July, the highest peak of the summer. Our June was unusually hot and dry, but then the weather got back to normal. Finnish weather which is chilly and rainy but for me it actually was good because my plants even in parts survived without watering while I was away but it also caused weeds to grow really fast they just skyrocketed surprisingly grass didn't grow this didn't grow this fast but creeping thistle did this is one of the most terrible weeds, to my opinion, because you cannot weed it out with roots. Their main root is spreading at the depth of up to seven, seven meters. Can you believe that? And whether you pull it out or even try to dig it, dig it out, the plant just separates from the main root, leaving it undamaged and counting and counting how deep it actually lies. Even herbicides don't help much, and I'm not the fan of this. Look at these flowers. They look even good at some point, and they are really good pollinators. But one plant can produce up to 40,000 seeds, and they stay viable for 20 years. So I guess you can consider other pollinators no matter how good this one is and this not only spreading with help of the seeds it also spreading with help of the roots and really fast the only method i know to eliminate it is by exhausting the root by pulling it out it's a big question who will be exhausted first creeping thistle or gardener as i already mentioned in my previous video which link is in description this garden was abandoned for a while and weeds like creeping thistle really overtook so i don't know if i ever win this battle if i ever will exhaust this but let's stay positive and let's see what's blooming in my garden right now besides creeping thistle so here what's blooming right now it's a big betony and a large yellow loose stripe lots of bell flowers and mallows started to bloom and also an oregano i have uh, lots of oregano and it's spreading like crazy also my garden isn't really dry which is preferred by oregano this barberry bush i already trimmed it twice this year and it keeps growing and unfortunately it already catched a mildew but in our climate it's a common and somewhat normal situation and i don't want to use any any hard chemicals on this it will survive and when the weather gets drier and hotter, eventually getting better. Well, I need to trim it again, I guess. You can see the results of leaving the garden unkept for one week. You can see the stinging nettle growing right through the deck. Here is my potted garden small potted garden roses unfortunately already had the first flush and 
those are just remains and some some of the violas and pansies died but they didn't dry as you might think if an excessive water from the rains did that did that thing for them but i'm having a beautiful calendula here and some lady of shallot still blooming and a moss rose isn't it isn't it beautiful and here i have some potted garden as well with vegetables and some flowers and this is the strawberry let's see it closer so this is the strawberry and it produces tons of strawberries and i tend tend to think uh, it they weren't really good and and until i found a fully ripe berry it's actually it's actually hard to do because squirrels and birds find it first and when i found this fully ripe berry it was delicious so it's not only beautiful flowers but really good berries as well if if you're lucky enough to have one <laughs> before squirrels and here's my beautiful jalapeno chili i already picked some some crop from this actually i'm planning to make a separate video for my vegetable garden so i won't be telling much in this video i also planning to make a separate video about my makeover of this flower bed you can see right now with this funny suya <laughs> I will tell more in that video so consider subscribing and i'm happy with this bed because you can see that there, there are no weeds and don't don't look at this <laughs> garden light it it's really old and i'm planning to 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 change it one day and again mellows and this is what I actually wanted to show you. This is a really old rose. I'm not sure, I'm not quite sure what type of rose this is. If you know what type of rose this can be, please let me know in the comments because I really would like to know what rose this is. It has a really, really strong fragrance, an old rose fragrance and it's not really good with rain but this year this rose is doing great because I trimmed it really well this spring and I also used some bio fungicide on it and it is doing much better than it did last year when I just became an owner of this garden so if you know what roles it can be please let me know in the comments and those are bluebells and my greenhouse which i will leave out of this video i will make a different tour on my vegetable garden soon so stay tuned and this is another terrible weed i have in my garden i actually have lots of different kind of the most the, the worst kind of and this is a hedge pine vine weed it's also really really hard to eliminate it it's this actually the same the same way as with creeping thistle by exhausting it but i don't know <laughs> i really don't know who will exhaust first it is growing near the river but also unfortunately it already spread it in in a garden too and it's really taking over
I don't fight it near the river because it's a natural habitat for it. But in a garden, it's a pain in, you know, where. And this is my beautiful river. We have some wild ducks here. I don't know if we will see the, them because they're hiding. And I will be ending my little July garden tour here.